Hello, today we are going to take a look at this absolutely beautiful vintage halogen hazard light. It was intended to be operated on the road in case of situation like you've got a flat tire in the woods and you need to indicate your position. So you enable the blinking light, you take it out from your trunk, you unfold those legs, you put it on the road, of course far away from your car to give uh, people a distance to, to react. So this device will be a great indication that you've got emergency. You might ask yourself why not use just a hazards on your car, but let's imagine that you've got a problem and there is an angle, you've got a turn and your car is stuck after the turn so people driving here cannot see you so you can take it out and put it in front of a turn so they will know that after the turn you've got a problem. Of course you can use this for any search and rescue operation just to indicate your position so it can be seen from like a helicopter from a far distance because it is a quite bright. As you can see the device was heavily used so we are going to see whether it's going to be operational. Here is the company, the Halogen Plastimat. We've got some sort of model. We've got two types of lights. One is going to be blinking and second is going to be constant. We've got our beautiful legs to give it a support. On the back we've got a short instruction manual so you can see it's got a CE marking so it's not going to be extremely old but just because it's using a regular bulbs that is definitely going to be a quite old stuff. Here you've got the instruction in German just if you would be interested but it is a pretty safe explaining. So to get access to the bulb or batteries as you can see we need a 6R20 and yes I've got a beautiful brand new set and we are going to undo those clips and we are going to take a peek inside and see what we have got. So this is what we've got inside and as you can see it looks absolutely beautiful. I do not see any sign of corrosion. It's got a nice gasket so it's definitely a weatherproof. Here we've got our bulbs and one is using a thread and second one is not. Let me take a look. And it is just a regular bulb. Very nice looking. And let's see that one, how to undo it. And that looks like a pretty powerful beast. Something that I seen on a Petzl lamp. We've got a 6 volt, 2.5 watt. Absolutely beautiful. That's going to be extremely nice. So it go like this. Very nice. And let's see. Here we've got our contacts. I can see a transistor, capacitor and some resistor. Most likely for the blinking circuitry. Here is the second valve. And we are going to take a look whether it's going to be operational. Now I'm going to show you something interesting that I learned myself from working with a military nickel cadmium batteries and each terminal like that was covered by a petroleum jelly and this is what I'm going to do. So in case of any leakage from our batteries it will not damage those spring and contacts and the petroleum jelly in general is inert for our metal so should make absolutely no problem, do not add any resistance and is going to be only helping.
in my personal opinion, that protected contacts are going to be working much better. And it's also protected from humidity. And we are going to put a alkaline batteries. Let's take a look at the use date. And we've got a almost 10 years. The interesting thing is if you take a look at the markings is that this spring go to the positive. This is first time I see something like this. In general, those elements are on the negative pole. We go like this. And we've got one spare battery. And let's take a look, is it going to be working? We have to clip it and the bulb need to go into corresponding slots. And we've got a nice crunch, nice click. Let's see, is it going to be working? Let's go to the blink. And it's blinking absolutely beautiful. It is a very powerful blink, you can trust me. It hurt a naked eye. It's blinking very good. Now that we are being spoiled by LED lights that might not look that impressive, but in person that blink is pretty amazing. We've got a studio light and it's still bright. And the second mode is just a a regular position and it also works beautiful so as you can see so as you can see it present itself absolutely beautiful great for any emergency let's do a shaking test we've got no problem with loose connection and everything is good and I've got some question about why my stuff are being so dirty and that's because most of them I dumpster dive and before they end up on my desk I've got no idea if I'm going to fix them. So the idea is that I clean everything afterward, it's going to be fixed and I know that it's operational because if I'm unable to fix something then it's going to be go back into the recycle bin and here I've got the magic sponge and we are going to try to fix it. And this is what I'm doing after making a video where we've got a good fix. I nicely clean it and it's going to be looking like a brand new And this is how it present after basic cleaning with the magic sponge. I am use only water, absolutely no chemicals and it got absolutely great results. I, I love it and it looks like a brand new. Does it still work? Definitely yes. As you can see we've got a good fix. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time and bye bye.